Let's update you now on the coronavirus outbreak in Georgia. Several states are seeing more people get infected here at home. The state of Georgia reported 825 new cases today. That's about 200 fewer than our seven day average. The number of people fighting the virus in a Georgia hospital tonight holding steady right now. The state's reporting 1,204 hospitalizations. So, George, in case anybody missed this, the director of the Atlanta Bay CDC had some blunt words about where we are as a country right now in this fight against the virus. Yes, Dr. Rochelle Walensky pointed to rising cases in some states and not everyone getting vaccinated either as a possible fourth surge could be on the way. I'm scared. I'm speaking today not necessarily as your CDC director, and not only as your CDC director, but as a wife, as a mother, as a daughter to ask you to just please hold on a little while longer. I so badly want to be done. I know you all so badly want to be done. We are just almost there, but not quite yet. Channel 2's Matt Johnson joining us live now from the Delta Flight Museum in South Fulton County. And Matt, you're at one of those vaccine sites we have here in Georgia. We just played that CDC warning, emotional. She went off script, she was saying, but you have some good news on fighting a possible fourth surge. Turns out the vaccines might actually be better than we all thought. That's right, George. Almost every step of the way, the vaccines have exceeded expectations, and that's what researchers say happened here when they studied the vaccine in real-world scenarios among people most likely to get infected. Public health officials are just hoping this is yet another reason for people to get vaccinated. New data about COVID-19 vaccines in real-world scenarios is part of a growing body of evidence that show how effective they are. The Atlanta-based CDC released findings today that show the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines are 90% effective at preventing all infections. It's really good news again for vaccines. Dr. Colleen Kelly with Emory University says vaccine effectiveness usually changes when it's out of a clinical setting, but the COVID vaccines are proving to blast past expectations. With a new vaccine or a new product, um, once it gets out into the real world, you see a little bit less effectiveness, but that's not the case with these uh, Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine. The CDC studied nearly 4,000 vaccinated people over 13 weeks who were mostly frontline health care workers. Those who received one dose were 80% less likely to get infected after two weeks. Those who received two doses were 90% less likely. But this study, along with a few others, are really giving us the great news that vaccination also cuts down on asymptomatic disease as well, which is wonderful. And nearly a quarter of the Georgia population has received at least one dose of a vaccine. We're 49th in the country in that category, according to the CDC. But more data on vaccines could inspire more to get vaccinated. We've got people who want to volunteer. Ashley and Alicia Chen run the Georgia Vaccine Hunters Facebook group with more than 10,000 members. They help crowdsource information about vaccine availability across the state. You know, we've probably scheduled hundreds of of appointments through just our volunteer group. But with supply catching up to demand, the Chen's say they want to use their group to help convince skeptics to get vaccinated. And we want to encourage people to get out to protect themselves and protect their communities. We have it. We have it available. We want to vaccinate more people. Courtney Sheely is with the South Health District in Valdosta. She says now that everyone over 16 can get a vaccine, there are more people in rural parts of the state who are interested. Some of our um, health departments that have had openings, you could almost get a same day appointment. Now they're booked up into April. With COVID cases not falling as quickly as health experts would like, they say even the vaccinated shouldn't forget their masks and distancing. Uh, but there are still many people out there um, who aren't protected by a vaccine. Um, and that one in 10 chance that I could spread it to them means that if I'm in a public place, I need to be socially responsible. All right, so Matt's back and Matt, there seems to be a lot of data out there on these vaccines, but people are still asking us so many questions, including how well do they actually work? Yeah, George, well, there's two big questions we still need some more uh, information on. One of them is how long does the vaccine protect you? And also, how well does it stop transmission? Now, experts are optimistic that the vaccines will continue to outperform expectations, but we really need a lot of research in those two areas still, George. All right, Matt Johnson, live for us tonight. Thanks. And we